Today's video is about water. Water's molecular formula is H2O, which means it has two hydrogen and one oxygen. They are held together by sharing electrons in a covalent bond, as you can see in the structural formula that is to the right. Water's structure gives it special properties which make it uniquely suited for living things. In fact, the human body is 72% water. Water's structure is held together by a covalent bond. However, it's a polar covalent bond in which the electrons are unequally shared. This is because of the size of its atoms. Hydrogen is a larger atom with eight protons in its nucleus, while hydrogen is very small and has only one proton in its nucleus. Because oxygen has this very large positive charge, the electrons around the atom tend to want to stay around the oxygen, which means that the oxygen is going to have a slightly negative charge because of all the extra negative particles that are going around it. Because the electrons have left the positive hydrogen nucleus behind, the hydrogen are going to have a slightly positive charge. These charges on the molecule are what make it a polar molecule, which is a molecule that has a slightly positive end and a slightly negative end. Because water has a polar structure, it gives it some unique properties that make it perfect as a solvent in living things. First, water is cohesive, which means that water molecules are attracted to other water molecules and tend to hold together. Remember that water molecules have positive charges on the hydrogen and negative charges on the oxygen. Since all water molecules have these charges, when you put lots of water together in one place, they begin to form attractions. The positive and negative parts of the molecule begin to form networks of attractions. These attractions pull the water molecules very close together. These weak attractions are called hydrogen bonds, and when we have many of them in one place, they create cohesion. Water's cohesive properties allow it to be a good temperature buffer. Because the cohesive forces hold the molecules together, to pull the molecules apart requires a lot of energy. Even though increasing the temperature increases the movement of the water molecules, it takes a lot of energy to break hydrogen bonds. Because of that, Water can absorb a lot of energy without evaporation. Therefore, the water maintains its steady temperature for a longer period of time. Maintaining temperature homeostasis helps living things to survive. Water's polar property also makes it an excellent solvent. Any molecule that is also polar or ions that are charged will be able to dissolve in water because their charges are attracted to the water molecules. The water molecules will surround an ion and when they do, that ion is separated from other molecules in the solution and is said to dissolve. When water is attracted to other molecules, we call this adhesion. It is one of the reasons why water clings to the inside of a glass after we drink it. It is clinging to the silica molecules in the glass. The combined adhesive and cohesive properties of water are what allow transpiration in plants. Finally, water is the basis for pH because water molecules, despite the fact that they are covalently bonded, often can dissociate. Dissociation is when a molecule breaks into ions. In water, this is going to happen because one of the electrons that was shared between the oxygen and the hydrogen is going to spend just a little bit too much time around the large proton of oxygen. The small proton of hydrogen floats away. Because the oxygen and hydrogen hang on to the electron, they become OH negative or a hydroxide ion. The proton, because it's missing an electron, becomes H+. Now protons can't really hang out by themselves, so instead that H+, actually attaches itself to a water molecule and becomes a hydronium ion. It is really H3O+. However, when we talk about it in biology, we're just going to stick to the H+, and the OH-, which are the basis for pH. I hope this helps you to understand why water is so special.